All right, time to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. Let's familiarize ourselves with some basic commands in Linux. But before we do that, I want you to keep something very important in mind. Linux is case sensitive. So if we're typing the word password, for example, and we use a capital P, that's very different than using a small p. I've unfortunately seen this happen in training videos where instructors are trying to access some files or using some commands and they're using the wrong capitalization and they're wondering live in the training, why is it not working? I can't believe that instructors could do that. Please be careful about this. Um, if you're new to Linux, you're completely forgiven to do that. If you're an instructor doing that, not as much. While you're trying to access files in Linux, it's not as forgiving as Windows, unfortunately. So, so a file that has the name test using capital T, if you try to access the test file using a small t, that would not work. Now that we talked about this, here are the objectives for this section. We're going to be learning how to move around the file system, how to change directories and jump from one directory to another. We're going to be learning how to create files and directories. Then, obviously, we want to see the content of these files and directories. We're going to learn how to do that as well. And last but not least, we're going to be learning how to copy, move, and delete these files and directories. There are a couple of things that we want to keep in mind when we're talking about commands in Linux. The fact that commands have a certain structure. And with this structure come two things, options and arguments. Options are things that change how the tool or the command behaves. And they're usually letters preceded by a hyphen. You can use more than one option. So for example, the ls command is a command that lists contents of a directory. Now don't worry, we're going to be seeing this practically later on. The ls on itself will behave in a certain manner. If we type, for example, ls minus h or minus minus help, it will display something completely different. This is the option that we're using here, the minus h, minus a, and so on. The other thing that we want to be taking into consideration is that commands have also arguments on top of options. And arguments usually are extra pieces of information to tell the command what to act on. So for example, if I'm using the ls command, without any arguments, the ls will display the content of my current directory. So for example, if I'm in the documents directory and I type ls, I'm going to see the contents of the documents directory. If, however, I type ls forward slash desktop, I'm going to be seeing the contents of the desktop directory. In this particular case, desktop is my command argument. The example you see in front of you is ls minus l forward slash desktop. Minus l is the option and it changes the way that ls displays the content of desktop, which is my argument. Again, if this sounds confusing, don't worry, we're going to be seeing plenty of examples and I promise you, you're going to be finding this very easy in no time. So here are the basic commands that we're going to be exploring in this section. PWD, which stands for print working directory, CD, which is change directory, MKDIR, which is to make or create a directory, touch, which we use to create a file, LS, which is a command that we use to list directory content. We're going to be also looking at the cat command, which means concatenate or display a file's content, less command, which shows the file content in a different way, head dash, N, N stands for a number, so for example, head minus 10, head minus 50, which displays the first N number of lines of a file. By default, it's 10, so for example, if I type head file.txt, I'll see the first 10 lines in the file.txt. Tail will show me the last 10 lines or 50 lines or whatever I replace N with. Tail minus F tells me to follow the end of a changing file. So if it's a live file, if it's changing, while I'm looking at it, I can use the tail minus F. The CP command stands for copy file. MV is move or rename file. RM and RMDIR are for removing files and or directories. 